So for that reason, we need your help on something that uh, we have never done before. Um, the director of Unacknowledged and Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind and his team and my team are doing an emergency open source documentary film. It'll be short, an hour, maybe a little longer, that will be called The Cosmic Threat, an expose. This is something we want to create and release by early June. Now, no one's ever done a, a feature film like this in less than two months, but we need to do it. And we need your help. If you go to ce5film.com, you'll see we have a crowdfunding site up. Um, and we're going to also do an event in Scottsdale, Arizona at a private home on April 25th. Uh, 2021 for the 20th anniversary of the National Press Club uh, launch of the Disclosure Project that was on May 9th, 2001. This event is going to be live streamed by webinar that you can join and the support we get from that and the people who appear at the house with us uh, will help, I hope, uh, defray the costs of this emergency documentary that has to come out. Uh, we will have uh, with me at this home in Scottsdale, constitutional attorney Daniel Sheehan, myself, uh, Carol Rosen, who was the spokesperson for Werner Von Braun and was given the task by him to work to prevent the placement of weapons in outer space so that we could have peaceful contact with these extraterrestrial civilizations. Uh, Paula Harris, who is going to be revealing a case that is new and that is more important than Roswell, has better evidence and is more significant. And it has to do with the extraterrestrial civilization's concern with our uh, atomic and nuclear weapons and what effect those have on the fabric of the universe. We will also be jo have joined with us um, I hope all of you, but also by internet, the cosmonaut I referred to who trains astronauts and cosmonauts in Russia with astounding new information and evidence and video from the military generals who are coming forward in Russia, confirming that we're not alone. And we're also planning uh, to have a sort of an ambassador at large for um, Peace and Space, who is now living in Russia, um, an actor that many of you know uh, named Steven Seagal, who is very devoted to helping us get this message out to the public. And, and uh, he is planning to join us, of course, uh, by internet. There are plans to falsely disclose an alien threat and then uh, stage events that would terrify everyone on the planet. The only way that that will not be done is that it's exposed in advance. For this reason, and listen very carefully to how we need your help on this, we only need the funding help to get this documentary created and finished in two months, which we've never done, but we're going to release it open source. Now, what do I mean by that? We are not contracting with a film distributor who can tie it up, not for a nanosecond. It will be released to everyone to be put on all their YouTube and other sites, bit shoot, whatever it is, by everyone in the world. We will ask every celebrity supporter of universal peace, people like Demi Lovato and, and, and Danica Patrick and many other people who are very involved and concerned about what's happening to put it out to their hundreds of millions of followers. And we're going to ask that each of you take it. You have my permission, put it on your site, on other sites, on everyone you know, and get it out there. We want at least 1 billion people by this summer to know what the truth about this is and to see this evidence. In this film and on this June 20, I'm, I'm sorry, April 25th event that will be webinar and that you can join us remotely by computer, we will also be presenting the diagrams and models of the man-made UFOs that have been created and been used in hoaxed alien quote unquote events that are all man-made. We will have that evidence there and it will be presented.
So I hope you can help us not only create this emergency uh, documentary, but also join us on uh, April uh, 25th on Sunday. But also, if you can come in person, just let us know. Again, it's a very small group because of the exigencies and, and limits of the pandemic. Uh, and that when we have this finished, be ready to receive it, download it, and put it on every site in the world, including Russia, China, India, all over the world. This cannot just be an American or European initiative. It must be global. Because at this point, we are simply uh, running out of time to get this information out and to neutralize the threat. Now, how do you neutralize the threat? You expose their plans before they do it. Listen to just what I said. We must expose not only what they're doing, but how they're going to do it. What are the assets? What are those aircraft look like? How are they functioning? How might this unfold? We know this information. We have the technology information. We have the schematics. We have the people who worked on them and built them. And the, the really sad thing is that you have Mr. Radcliffe, who is the director of national intelligence, and Senator Marco Rubio specifically saying that these uh, UAPs, which is, again, another fake word they've made up after UFOs, which also is a fake word. When they came up with UFOs, by the way, they already knew that they were both man-made and extraterrestrial, just as, as Ben Rich, the head of Lockheed, stated. But they have both asserted in the last two weeks in mainstream media interviews that these, quote, UAPs are moving in a way, going faster than the speed of sound, but not creating a sonic boom, and that, quote, we don't have that technology. That is absolutely not true. I have personally interviewed engineers who have built that technology and who have worked on them all the way back into the 50s and 60s and more recently. So have my aerospace researchers and team members. So for the director of national intelligence and the ranking member of the Senate Intelligence Committee to be making these statements, they are either completely uninformed or they are repeating a talking point that is a lie. Either way, that is extremely dangerous because in the absence of the knowledge of the truth and the repeating of that lie by the mainstream media over and over and over again, the public is going to think any terrible thing that happens with something that looks like a UFO is quote unquote alien, when in fact it isn't. It is man-made, and it is part of an attempt to uh, deceive the public and also to get a lot of funding. 